In this world, every person is searching for respect, wealth, fame, health, knowledge, and a better life. But do you know that what you are searching for is within you? Everything you seek is within yourself, and you have the power of all hidden strengths in your soul. By using the powers of your soul, you can easily attain everything. Your soul or spirituality grants you such powers that help you attract knowledge, wealth, fame, and everything towards yourself, making your life and hereafter the most pleasant. However, for this, you need to embark on a spiritual journey or spiritual development. But how? We will explain it to you in simple words. Although inspiration, especially in the religion of Islam, tends to downplay worldly matters in comparison to the hereafter, there is no prohibition on obtaining permissible comforts in this world. Allah has made humans his vicegerent in this world, endowing this vicegerent with significant powers. The soul given to this vicegerent contains all the attributes of Allah as a reflection. While humans have limited capacities, the perfect qualities exist in Allah's essence. If Allah is an ocean, consider humans as a drop. When the spiritual body awakens in a person, the mental power of the human mind significantly increases. This leads to an individual attracting not only material things, but also various scientific and spiritual knowledge towards themselves. After the awakening of the luminous body, life becomes much easier. Happiness, peace, financial success, enviable health, intelligence, fame, miracles, all these things come to the person. If people realize these truths, they might abandon the external search and focus on searching within themselves. Before starting the spiritual journey, you need to have some additional information that makes your journey easier. Spirit. The soul is the biggest secret among the mysteries of the universe. Its perception keeps human intellect always limited. Philosophers were not successful, and even the prophets only said that the soul is a divine command. Thousands of years ago, the Egyptians began thinking, searching, and questioning about the soul. Whatever they found, they either wrote on stones or passed the secrets from one generation to another. This search of the Egyptians has been penned by three men, Sir E. Avilles, Lord Lytton, and the famous dramatist Dumas. Similar searches continued in other countries such as Greece, Rome, India, and Babylon. In Europe, Copernicus was the first thinker who, in 1543, attempted to prove human a spiritual reality. Kepler, Galileo, Newton, and Darwin also wrote on this issue. In the 19th century, there was more attention towards this subject. In 1873, Sir William Crookes published a book on the topic research in the phenomena of spiritualism, which became very popular. It is said that in times of adversity, God comes to mind. In the First and Second World Wars, Europe faced mountains of calamities, and suddenly, discussions on the soul, the subtle body, prayer, cosmic world, life after death, connection with God, and true happiness flooded with hundreds of books. These authors were not fanatics, but mostly scientists with doctorates, philosophers, and professors. For example, 1. Mystic Gleams by Dr. F. R. Wheeler, Ph.D. 2. A Yogi in the Himalayas by Dr. Paul Brinton, Ph.D. 3. Invisible World by Dr. H. Corrington, Ph.D. 4. Exploring the Ultra-Perceptive Faculty by Dr. J. Hedinger, Ph.D. 5. Heaven Lies Within Us by Dr. Theo Bernard, Ph.D. 6. The Invisible Influence by Dr. Alexander Cannon, Maryland, DPM, Ph.D. 7. The Mystery of Death by Dr. J. Oldfield, 8. Invisible Helper by Rutent Rev. C. W. Leadbeater, 9. Variety of Religious Experience by Preferne William James, 10. The Mind and Its Place in Nature by Dr. Broad, 11. Science and Personality by Dr. William Brown. Most of them broke sales records at their time indicating the public's interest in these subjects. In this series of research, some intriguing findings are emerging, and some aspects that are coming to light are presented here. The Subtle Body It is accepted that within our earthly body, there is a subtle body that is extremely delicate. The real human is that subtle body. The existence of flesh and skin is temporary, while the subtle body is eternal. When we die, the subtle body, like a spark, leaves the body and merges with the cosmic world. Our subtle body is bound in a delicate connection when we are born. 
and when a person's time is complete, this connection breaks, and the person dies. In the Quran, it is stated, Allah is the one who takes hold of souls in two ways, one at the time of death, and the other during sleep. He prevents the souls of those who are destined to die from entering the body, and sends back the remaining souls into the body for a specified period. Signs for this are present for those who contemplate. According to Dr. Kral, man overflows and is greater than the organism which he inhabits, aura. Western Sufis believe that different colored rays emanate from the human body, creating a halo around the body. These rays exit every person, whether good or bad, differently. However, the color of goodness and badness varies based on the deeds. Before death, this aura becomes indigo, turning dark after leaving the body. Another theory suggests that every person, according to their actions, creates an environment around them. The environment of a wrongdoer becomes like a hard wall, preventing any plea or supplication, and the effects of cosmic world cannot penetrate it. Such a person loses the support of hidden benevolent powers. It is possible that the Quran's concept of curtain refers to this environment. Dr. Kington thinks that aura is an invisible magnetic radiation from the human body which either attracts or repels. Drawing closer to some individuals and distancing from others is our daily experience. These rays emanate from both the earthly body and the luminous body. Good individuals send rays of the luminous body into the world, attracting goodness, while rays from physical bodies can evoke lower emotions, like the effects of seeing a beautiful person or an unsightly one. Cosmic World Souls come from this world and return to it. Three levels are mentioned. The lower level, where sinners suffer for their deeds. The middle level, where average people reside. And the upper level, where the righteous, saints, and prophets live. Words. In the hands of spiritual experts, every letter carries a specific color, a specific power. When the letters were written and seen through a third eye, they appeared in a particular color. The color of A was red, B was blue, D was green, and S was yellow. Then their effects were examined. Some words caused diseases, some made the pain of a child's toothache disappear, while others caught snakes. The spiritual power of the saints and prophets is very high. Their words are filled with an astonishing power, so much so that a person with a pure heart can treat diseases and pains. After God, Gabriel is the greatest power in the heavens. Revelation is the word of Gabriel, and that is why every word of the divine scriptures is a treasure of power. The divine words are full of energy. This is also the secret of the amulet's power. Pastor Ledbetter writes, a talisman or an amulet strongly charged with magnetism for a particular purpose by someone who possesses strong magnetic power may be of invaluable help. Pastor Leadbeater was a famous European Sufi who passed away in 1935. He used to fly far and wide in the luminous body and could see hidden things. He writes in his book, Master and the Path. Each word as it is uttered makes a little form in etheric matter. The word hate, for instance, produces a horrible form so much so that, having seen its shape, I never used the word. When I saw the form, it gave me a feeling of acute discomfort. Divine words and divine names hold.